Hello everyone and welcome to a really spectacular game played in 1970 uh, tournament in Islington, London. It's Terry C. Fox versus uh, the legend Jan Timan. Uh, now we don't have all that uh, much info on uh, Terry C. Fox, but we do know uh, that he played at least uh, 12 games in his uh, entire life. Some of them are from simultaneous exhibitions, some of them are from local events. Uh, and we, it seems that he is uh, an Englishman, uh, but that seems to be pretty much it. And uh, he is a fairly strong player. Uh, for example, in 1972, this game was played in 1970. 1972, he defeated Anatoly Karpov in a simultaneous exhibition, albeit, but still, I mean, it's Anatoly Karpov, uh, the man who uh, Jan Timan challenged for the uh, title of uh, world champion in 1993 so uh, definitely a strong player and this game uh, features a really awesome move that uh, well uh, you sort of know about this move but you never see it actually uh, being played and the, the <laughs> you will uh, re now uh, understand why it's never played and it is against the, the Nimzo Indian defense which makes it even uh, even uh, more awesome so let's dive straight into it uh, nine, nine times a Dutch champion Jan Timan with the black pieces against the mystery man Terry C Fox hence the uh, hoodie. I uh, hope you guys are wearing a hoodie as well. Uh, let's check it out. Uh, Mr. Terry C. Fox opens with d4 uh, and now knight to f6 uh, going for the sort of an Indian type structure. Uh, c4, e6, knight to c3 and Timan goes for the Nimzo Indian defense with bishop to b4. Uh, a3 challenging the bishop right away. B bishop captures on c3 and b captures. So nowadays, uh, you know, people don't really enjoy doubling the c pawn, but uh, we've seen it played even in in uh, 2022 uh, it still can be used as, as a very nice surprise so here c5 challenging the center and now uh, there are this is the semi variation of the nimzo indian here you want to have the setup e3 f3 queen to c2 uh, and so on but here uh, we have a move that you will never see anyone play against you and that is pawn to e4 this is what uh, uh, terry goes for and it's uh well Okay, the the pawn obviously is not defended, but it's not a bad move because uh, black wants to capture the pawn. If you capture the pawn, then queen g4, and all of a sudden white has something here. It's not much, but you know, you can play at knight f6, you capture the pawn, rook here, queen h6, we, we go after the queen, let's say queen to e3, and the game continues. Uh, but it's not really all that great. Uh, but the reason this is bad isn't because we can capture the pawn. The reason is uh, next, and th this is what the team man shows us. Queen to a5. Now the threat is queen captures on c3, this will come with check, but uh, our good friend Terry Fox says that this is not a problem. He doesn't defend the pawn with something like queen to d3 or queen to c2, he just plays e5, and you can see that he's a very, very aggressive attacker. Uh, knight to e4, and now, uh, if you go for queen captures on c3, okay, bishop d2, and now uh, white is definitely winning, black will have to give up a piece. So instead, after e5, knight to e4, now Timon goes after the c3 pawn uh, with the knight and with the queen and bishop to d2. Uh, Timan again does not uh, go for some material first he just continues development knight to c6 and knight to f3. Uh, knight captures on c3 now attacking Terry's queen on d1 and queen to c2 and here we have c captures on d4 just cementing this knight um, uh, here on the on the c3 square and while you you might think okay well, can't we just capture this and then pick up the knight here uh, well not really because although we can capture on d4 there's even queen captures on e5 with check and now you have all sorts of uh, uh, problems for example you can block with the knight knight captures on e2 and what are you going to play uh, I mean, you could recapture, but the rook is hanging on a1, so you, you resign this. So instead, after c captures on d4, a4 is played. Uh, and now comes pawn to b6. Here, Timan prepares to develop the bishop to a6 to go after that c3 pawn. So bishop to uh, c4 pawn. So bishop to e2. Now hoping to castle, but still you you don't really uh, have a chance of castling while uh, the uh, the uh, bishop on e2 is hanging. So here we have bishop to a6 and now king to f1. Obviously, if we castle, uh, black can just capture. This comes with check, so white will not be in time to capture the black queen. So king to f1 uh, leaving this diagonal and now comes rook to c8. Timon just plays like a machine this game. It is absolutely incredible to watch. g3 preparing king to g2. Of course Terry wants the castle artificially now and now uh, comes the, uh, the the big problem for, for Terry. Knight 
knight captures an e5 and what do you play here okay the knight is defended so you don't really gain anything by capturing the knight but you can play knight captures on d4 and this is exactly what terry plays this weakens the knight on c3 but it's not a problem that this is exactly what Timon wanted and he plays knight captures on e2 and offers his queen and if you don't capture the queen there's really not all that much you can do you're just down material let's say okay you can maybe capture the the knight this way but then we play queen d5 and again we offer a queen for the second time now we're attacking the pawn uh we're attacking the rook on h1 and if the queen is captured rook captures on c2 attacks the bishop the bishop cannot move because the knight hangs so it's just a terrible position to to play so uh the queen has to be captured uh queen a bishop captures on a5 was played and now we have knight captures on d4 now uh, preparing to deliver some very nasty checks along this diagonal uh queen to b2 as the queen is also attacked the knight was attacking the queen and now rook captures on c4 threatening all sorts of nasty discoveries once the rook moves so king to g2 and now bishop to b7 with check and what do you do if you move the if you go back with king to f1 we just captured the rook it's a free rook uh if you try something like uh what, what what can you even do here if you if you play king to g1 to try and defend the rook with the king then we play rook to c2 attack the queen and if queen captures on d4 grabbing the knight then knight f3 check uh, again a nice fork winning the queen king f1 knight captures here and we are up a full piece of course we are winning this game so after bishop to b7 check king to h3 saying okay if you capture my rook i can recapture maybe i can survive this but now comes knight to d3 attacking the queen here queen to d2 uh, attacking the knight and now the spectacular knight to f3 attacking the queen and offering a knight here and d3 but the knight can't really be captured if you capture the knight here then knight to g5 is checkmate the bishop covers the g2 square and the rook covers of course the h4 and g4 squares so here uh terry said all right i can't capture the knight i'm just gonna move my queen he played queen to e3 but still timon played knight to g5 with check and he was in this position on move 21 that Terry C. Fox resigned the game uh, as there is nothing more to be done here. Uh, the problem is uh, you don't have a, a square for your king this is covered by the bishop the the g4 and h4 squares are covered by the rook and of course if the knight is captured then you no longer control the f2 pawn and that means that if queen captures on g5 now knight captures on f2 is checkmate and that is just uh, just incredible again the bishop covers this the rook covers this the knight delivers check this is uh i mean am amazing stuff uh so uh that's basically it now you know now you know why in this position in the nimzo Indian defense um, uh, after this uh, uh, sorry after this uh, <laughs> uh, c5 move no one plays e4 even though it seems like it can be played because knight captures on e4 is a bad move but if someone plays this against you and they might you know that queen to a5 is a clear refutation of the idea you could also play c captures on d4 but now that, that you've seen this game you will go for Timon's idea play queen to a5 uh, and you know just crush your opponent uh, uh, you know spectacularly uh, so yeah, that's the game. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for suggesting such uh, amazing games. Uh, I uh, re really enjoyed when I saw this one. I'm pretty sure I saw it like uh, maybe 15 years ago, but um, uh, have, I have not seen it in a very, very, very long time. So hope you guys uh, really enjoyed this one. Only 21 move, but uh, spectacular Nimzo Indian game. Uh, so yeah, once again, really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I would like to thank Richard Sanderson, Mateusz Jurjak, uh, Alois Klosterhaber, uh, Kalman D, and Valar Morgulis uh, for your contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot. I really appreciate it. As usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Thank you all for watching and I will see you soon. Continuing uh, to check up on your wonderful suggestions such as this one and whatever else happens in the chess world. Uh, so thank you all. I will see you soon and have an excellent rest of your day.